is up, everyone? Welcome to the show. This is your Ticket to Reality. My name is TJ Zwarich, Editor-in-Chief of AgentsofFandom.com, and I am joined by my partner at the Agents of Fandom, Emma, as well as Season 2 finalist of The Circle Netflix, Lee Swift himself. But, I mean, I, I, I can't bury the lead here. We are joined by a very special guest Season one finalist, season five contestant as well, Shuby Shubom. How you doing? Oh, I'm great, yo! It's so I'm stoked to be here. Thank you guys so much for having me. Oh well, yes, we're so happy to have you. I know, like you and Lee are friends already and have yeah. uh, some catching up to do. So I'm going to throw it to him first to uh, ask you a few things. Well, first of all, I want to know why did you go back on the show? I think that's amazing. How did that uh, all work out? Yeah, first of all, Lee, it's so great to see you. Um, I think, you no, know, for me, I just, I think, Lee, uh, it's just, I I love the game so much. I just, I really love the circle, and it's such an incredible game, and, you know, the people in it are so great. So I thought, for me, I had such, the first time I played, I, it was so incredible. I just wanted to come back and try to win the game and play the game I love, so. You were so strategic this time. <laughs> you came in like, you were like, all oh, strategy, 100%. And I, I was like, the thing that I thought through you was getting that profile. <laughs> it was like, what? Oh. <laughs> Tell me what you do different. Yeah, no, I, I love Sasha. I think also I did try to play genuine. It was just tough. I tried to put part of myself in the, the Sasha profile. And with my connections, like, you know, with Tom, Bruno, Jennifer, I was really trying to put, like, my genuine self in there. But I think, yeah, you know, I got – I felt like I had a fight or flight mode. And then I just started going like strategic. How do I, you know, it was great. It was so much fun. It was, you, you were, I was loving watching you. In fact, on our episode before this, I said, he's going to bury everybody. He's so <laughs> great, you know, and, uh, and uh, you were great. You were great. Cause I honestly think your strategy about the newbies, I thought, oh my gosh, are y'all listening? He's right. You know, yeah, oh, you, it means a lot. That means a lot from you, Lee. Yeah. It was such a good play. I felt it was the best play. I thought the thing, the only thing I thought was, you came in just like 100%. And I, I know, thought if you, if you would have done a little softer sell to the other four. Yeah. But um, yeah, I was, I, that was the play for them because always, you know, I mean, James is an example of, of you can come in later and win, but it's hard. I think it's hard to go from the original eight and you really have to be thinking on your feet and getting alliances going quickly. And they were kind of all, felt like they were all kind of laying back tom jennifer and everybody i loved your strategy i loved it oh thank you lee much love i appreciate that <laughs> i was sitting there i don't know if i don't know if you guys recognize like that hannibal burris gif where he's sitting there and the with the tuxedo on and he's like why are you booing me i'm right <laughs> that's how i felt about when when you were trying to make oh, that, that revolution <laughs> yeah, i was I it was a great idea that. Oh, it was a great you, idea. Yeah. I, I was live tweeting it as it happened and I posted the uh Korg from Thor oh, Ragnarok. I saw that one, actually. Oh, that was so funny. That was so funny. <laughs> Tried to start a revolution, not enough pamphlets. <laughs> no, I, I needed hey, I needed the four of us needed to be there, you know. That's right. right. We need That's one profile, right. just the four of us. I think we can definitely win. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> a little known fact, TJ is the reason I'm on this ticket to reality. They have agents of fandom. And TJ mm -hmm. Shabam's huge on Marvel. He knows. He knows deep. Yeah, I deep saw that, stuff. man. That's awesome. I love Marvel. It's a great. I love that. Perfect. You need to. You need to set him up to get on Agents of Fandom sometime. But anyway, I digress. Yeah, I want to. I want to talk about uh, some of your other castmates. So, I loved. I love. I'm. I'm kind of talking uh, all different parts of the first day. Sure, episode. sure. But when you went in and saw Jennifer. I love that reaction. Brett, you go, and Brett goes, he knew me. He knew me. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I was, I was stoked to see Jennifer. Cause I, you know, I'm a huge, I love survivor and big brother. And I saw Brett, I thought he was so entertaining and funny the first time he played. So I was shocked when I saw like a catfish and it was Xanthi and Brett. It was so fun. It was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. Cause you didn't see them and you came in after they got booted. So yeah. So I didn't know they got blocked. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Awesome. 
Was it different? Did it feel different this time than the first time? Because you went in and didn't have any clue, really. I mean, you you guys were the OGs and and making you know the way for yeah. everybody. Yeah, I think it felt massively different. All like it smelled the same though. You know, I came back and I had the same smell. Lee, you would remember. It was, it was so <laughs> thrilled to be there. You know, it was. Um, I think it was massively different. I think because I started an original and I was myself. I got to build. I got to just like. I feel like build bonds from the ground up. And I felt not like I was at the top, but I was kind of with the originals. This time I felt like at the bottom of the pecking order. And it might have felt like I was sitting on the railroad and the train was about to come. So I was doing everything just to get out of the way. And, you know. I mean, when you had to block somebody right when you came in, I was like, oh, oh my I God. Know, I know. I, I was hoping like, because Tamira won, she would have to be the one who picked. But yeah, that was tough. That was tough. <laughs> oh my gosh, I I thought it was amazing. Emma, you've been waiting for Siobhan. She is a big I, fan. So oh, I mean, when I first fan. when yeah, I first met her, she that's yeah. what she said. I love Shuby and Joey. Oh, yes, <laughs> I yeah, like Lisa. I mean, it was so I was starstruck when I got to meet Lee, and now I get to work with him almost every day, and it's wonderful. So oh, my I dream has that. been to meet some of the greats from season one. Um, so speaking of season one, you and Joey's bromance was probably my favorite moment of the whole season. Are you guys still tight? Do you talk every day? Like what's, what's it like now? Yeah. Joey's my boy. I think that's what the, so the cool, I was in New York, uh, on my time thing, like a couple months ago, we were actually hanging out. So it was so fun. And me and Joey are great. We always talk. And, um, when we're, we're in the same area, we're great. And I think Lee will know the cool thing about this is with the circle, the community is so great. Everyone from different seasons, if ever, Every, anyone's in the same town you can hang out so that's why it's so cool I love that so much I love seeing you know everyone on Instagram and whenever there's new castmates that pop up I love seeing yeah. people from previous seasons like comment and talk to everyone I think it's so great yeah it's so uh, cool. that, and that's that's wonderful so what what are you up to now like what have you been doing since season one and you know this season yeah no absolutely um I've been so I'm working tech so I met I don't think I can say the tech company well, it's eBay. I work at eBay. I uh, so I work in product at eBay, and um, I'm finishing up my master's. And yeah, I was just, I've been trying to just hang out, you know, after the pandemic ended, just trying to get out, have more fun, and just travel a little bit. Yeah, hang that's, out. Yeah, that's just awesome. say, having fun. Yeah, that's great. Well, congrats on your master's. I think that's wonderful. Oh, thanks. I'm still. It's part time, and I'm still on my way. Okay. But yeah, that. you'll get there. I so think that's I'm what, selling I think that's things on eBay. Can you give me a hint? <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah, hey, listen. I'll, I'm, yeah, kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm gonna find your profile. <laughs> That's so funny. Ahead, um, something I'm very interested in is: Do you have any gameplay regrets? Kind of like you said, you went in very strategic, and there was one pivotal moment I'm interested in. Obviously, you gave some extra powers to Jen, right? Like I'm assuming that's uh, that was who you were going for after you left, but you had a specific line where you said, oh, she didn't say besties about her and Tom. She said, sorry, she didn't say friends. She said besties. Will I ever be a priority between those two? And that's kind of what I was thinking from a gameplay standpoint is maybe you want to roll with Bruno because Jen already has that number one connection. Do you have any regrets there or you went with your heart and you're happy with it? Yeah, no, that that's a great question, actually, TJ. I think I think the, the way you play the game is all you can do is trust your heart and gut, whatever you're feeling in the moment. No, I have no regrets, but you're right. There's a lot of gameplay mistakes I've made this time. I think that was just such a tough choice at the time. Mm -hmm. I, I felt so bad for what I had to do to Bruno, especially the heart to heart I had with her. Um, it just felt like, you know, because I only got, I, I only, I chatted with Tom and then Tom, I felt like him and me had a really good UK connection and I felt like I was getting two newbies, right? Whereas Bruno, I felt so bad, but it was just like, she was struggling a bit as the original and I felt like I had no idea. Like, I didn't see that Chaz connection that her and him had, but you're right. Obviously mm -hmm. I knew they were close, but I thought in hindsight, Tom and Jennifer, they had my back and I think they did. Honestly, I think they did. And I think... I think I love Tom, Tom, my Tom, Tom. I, I have no regrets for the people I played with. Tom and Jennifer, If even if I knew this would happen, I'm glad I did. I think Tom genuinely wanted to save me at the end, but it, this game is so tough, right? There's so many layers of connections you have to worry about. And so, you know, it, it's a, of course it's a gameplay mistake and who knows? I, sorry, to go back to your question. If I saved Bruno, pr 
definitely i think things would have been a lot different like in terms of the ripple effect for sure who knows what would have happened but it would have been massively different yeah but you remember blocking you get in there and you have this i it's hard i mean i've only i only had to do it you know i did it once and then i was the super secret influencer but it's oh, hard God. it's so hard because you're really trying to uh, you know you got friendships you got connections and then you're thinking about the game and what's going to get me yeah. further because you you were in that seat how many times deciding i mean like three or four, four. and yeah four and, and this time i was on the bottom and i still had to say <laughs> yes. no and i i think that's what's tough about the game is you could be friends with someone but because of like who the two influencers are or because of the scenario it's a, it's a very yeah but it's a tough thing to be influencer i mean it's it's fun but it's tough and it's it's a hard decision to make, yeah. you know. And Chaz, my gosh, he's gotten his way. He's wow. He is blowing up this game. I I think. I mean, that's yeah. No, know, I mean, look, the, look. I I so love hard. the circle so much, and I you know, Chaz is playing a phenomenal strategic game. He's playing a great game, and um, I would have loved to work with Chaz, but I think the way just the events happened and what I you know what happened, I think it put us on two opposite. It would have been great to work with Chaz. Um, but yeah, he's playing a great strategic game for sure. You can definitely see in the influencer, he's not backing down in those rooms. Um, yeah. So yeah. 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 Did you Chaz ever do that been... in the room? When you, when you were blocking, did you ever have not have to back down or were you always in agreement with your co-person? Do you remember? Oh, this is tough. Um, I don't, I'm trying to, I think the, well, there was one with Rebecca where I felt like it was her. She should do it because it was her boyfriend or her love, yeah. and then her. Um, yeah. No, I forget, but something else. And, and Sean, so I thought that was up to her. I, uh, yeah. So yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> you slept a few times. <laughs> okay, no, I'm sorry. My memory's bad. I'm like yesterday. <laughs> Mine too. Really That's hey, I no no shame whatsoever. The other day we had an episode with uh, Michelle Ryder, Shelly Belly Comedy from season oh, three, cool. nice. and she Love says. That. What did you think? Tell me, like your honest opinion. What did you think about the way that I got blocked? And I went, please, <laughs> please remind me how it was again. And then as soon as she said it was the cloning, I was like, yeah, yes, of course, the cloning. But it took a couple seconds to uh, to jog the memory. <laughs> Shubham, yeah, you've come full circle, season one to season five. You've played with some great catfish. You've seen some great performances throughout these seasons Chaz is doing something through these first eight episodes of three straight influencers off the bat that we haven't we haven't seen yet his run you're obviously a big big brother fan as well uh Brett was from there his runs reminded me of Michael of the latest season of Big Brother and sometimes when you're winning all the games and you're a hot commodity off the back you put a target on your back and so I'm interested to see if that happens with Chaz here the rest of the way out because he's been he's been dominating of everyone you've seen through five seasons, give me a bit of a power ranking. Like, who do you think are the top circle players of uh, the first five seasons? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, say me, oh say me. <laughs> I just need really to answer that question. You know, I, just, I feel like we're in it. Um, look, I have so much love for them all. You know, they're all like my little, like, you know, I just feel... I mean, there, there's some. I think everyone's been so great, and they've tried their best. I don't know. This would take a, a while to digest. I don't. There's quite a great. few people. Yeah. I'm going to do the very safe answer, and I'll divert it to Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Shabam, just Lee, Lee, <laughs> Lee, 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 Lee. I think. Joey, I mean, yeah. hey, both of you had two of the top performances we've ever <laughs> seen in the first two seasons. The way oh. Joey kind of stayed in that second, third place the whole time in season uh, uh, season what? one to to hold that uh, title. That was that's kind of what I found impressive is he kept the target away. You know, he kept the target away. And yeah, then Joey played the a great game. Love Joey. Yeah, he played great. It was so fun to play with him. I'm impartial to Delisa, I think. I think Delisa or maybe James coming in late may be kind of like my neck and neck top performances I've seen. Yeah, they're both, I mean, they're both great players. I mean, Lee played with Delisa also, so he's a little bit, but yeah, they're both phenomenal players. My favorite line from this season was Oliver, where he said this was the Olympics of social media. <laughs> I thought that was the oh. absolute best line. Netflix needs to, you know, trademark that because I really believe. <laughs> 
It is. It's, it's such so a good crazy. logo. Yeah. Oh, my God. So I love this line also where he's like, I was stuck in traffic. That was so, yeah, that was so funny. <laughs> A <laughs> bitch was stuck <laughs> in traffic. Uh, I, I, I don't remember if I said this, but I don't think it was, I don't think it was shown. But I think a few of us other newbies after Tamir said it said we were stuck in traffic. <laughs> That's amazing. That's the perfect way to enter. Be like, sorry, I was I was going to be here a couple days ago, but stuck exactly, in yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm from Canada. You know how much snow there is here. It took me a while to get there. Uh, oh, Shubham, <laughs> we only have a couple minutes left, so. I want to play a little bit of a game with you before we go, right. because Netflix is smart. You know, Netflix was doing the promotion for this and they said, we got everybody's fan favorite. Shoe bomb is oh, back. Yeah. He's not even going to be in the first four episodes till the end, but he's still going to be the highlight of the trailer because we know <laughs> everybody loves this guy. And so they played some games in the first four episodes that you didn't get to play. So I was thinking maybe we could throw those your way. Yeah, let's play some games. I love games. <laughs> If you could describe yourself as one of these words, you can only choose one. Are you a leader, a people pleaser, a lone wolf, or a team player? Ooh, I like that. Um, I, I would say in general, I'm a lone wolf. Um, I, I, you know, I, in my life though, I have to like in work and everything, I have to be a team player, and sometimes I have to help lead stuff. But I would describe myself mostly lone wolf. But I love people, so if I had to pick that one. Love it. Careful because we may ask for a demonstration. What is your go-to dance move? Is it twerking? Ow. Is it the robot? <laughs> is it a strip tease? Or is it I don't dance? Yeah, you know what? I would say I'd say the robot, you know. There you go. Can we see give, give me give me some? Give me some. Um like a <laughs> I love it. I love that it. That works too. <laughs> Based on how important it was to you to be yourself and be genuine in season one, I think I know the answer to this question, but would you prefer to be popular, powerful, successful, or happy? Oh, happy. Always happy. I think, you know, I think, I think all of us know, like, I think, you know, in life you can chase other stuff and, you know, you'll think when you get it, it'll be everything. But when you get it, you're like, it wasn't what you thought it was. So I think for happy. Yeah. Happy. Yeah, it's great to be unpopular, weak, and happy. <laughs> Cause, cause yeah, exactly. As long as you yeah. Yep. Just kidding, just kidding. Uh, the one I'm that sorry. I thought was the most fun that I want to throw to you, Shubham, because this is the Circle Singles Edition. This isn't the regular circle, which... Oh, yeah, let's mingle. I got to say, look, I don't know if... Netflix, Kristen here with us in the background. I don't know if she's been listening to the Ticket to Reality <laughs> podcast, but we've been saying the circle and singles would be a nice little collab, nice little mix up. And then lo and behold, here we go. And it's been great television so far. Love it. Talk flirty to us, Shuby. What's your top pickup line? What's your go-to <laughs> pickup line? Oh my God. Uh, uh, do you want to leave first or something? No, no, they made We've me do that to answer. and they went eh, eh, on mine. So you're, you're I know I have a couple lines. I, I just can't think of them right now. Um, I went to chat open AI to figure it out. <laughs> if, it, oh, yeah. if it helps, when we had Michelle on, this episode just dropped on uh, YouTube and wherever you get your podcast uh, on, uh, fri on Friday here. Her answer was something to do with not wearing a bra and bending over to tie her shoes. Oh my god! Oh wow! Well, I love Michelle. A, a so non-verbal pickup line, I guess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So here's a question for you: Since well, I'm going to give you a, a rope, so you don't have to do that one. One question: Are you single right now? Are you single? Yeah, I am. I am. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. You heard it yeah. here first, people. Yeah. Well, I guess technically season five of the circle, but <laughs> true, true. <laughs> Netflix yeah. is too hot to handle. Next on the docket for uh, there you go. Um, Come on, yeah, let's, let's go. go. Let's let's do it. <laughs> I know we're supposed so to limit much. ourselves to uh, around twenty minutes here, so that's exactly what I wanted to say. Is thank you so much. You can find this on YouTube and wherever you get your podcasts. But uh, Lee, I'll throw it to you to kind of say goodbye, take us out of here. I know Emma and I are such huge fans, but give you guys one more chance to catch up here before we go. <laughs> You're a legend, buddy. And I, I love you to pieces. Oh. You know that. So hope to see you soon. So 
in yeah. person, in real life, not behind a screen. Yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely. And, and again, you know, guys, it was so great meeting you. I really appreciate all the love you showed me. You guys are great. And uh, yeah, I hope we can all chat again soon and meet in person. Thanks for absolutely. having me. Thank you so it's much. Funny. Seriously, this is great. Yeah, it's an good. open uh, open invite to you, Shubham, whether it's the Agents of Fandom podcast, Tickets to Reality podcast, or just wanting to hang out and shoot the shit. We would, uh, we would love to uh, get together with you again. Thanks for having me.